Hello guys, it's a warm, warm welcome back to the channel. You're on Alpha Omega Daily. It's the channel that likes to bring you the real deal about Thailand. Yes, indeed. Listen guys, you know I never quote statistics and this is my own personal opinion as most of the videos on this channel are, I'm just moving the camera there, um, my own personal opinion. But here's the deal. I decided to call this video apples to an orchard and why would you bring an apple to an orchard and you're saying what the hell is this all about well this is all about bringing your wife or your girlfriend with you on holiday or vacation whatever you want to call it to Thailand I mean I've been here for 10 years now and when I first came here, I came here alone. And I was free to roam around and enjoy the, the visual pleasures of, of what you would see walking on the street, i.e. the beautiful girls. Um, and, you know, as a single man, um, not only would you, or could you, um, enjoy the, single, the, 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 the visual pleasures, but you could also enjoy the physical pleasures if you if you saw if you if you decided to do that and you would be quite within your your rights to do so you see but you know when you bring an apple to an orchard your 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 your, your visual pleasure is not compromised in any way but it goes without saying that you know you would not be able to extend that to any degree of physicality uh, in that kind of sense in the biblical sense let's say because your spouse would be less than pleased um, obviously um, but having said that your spouse would be less than pleased even if you were enjoying the physical or the, 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 the physical the visual the visual pleasures because you know imagine sitting here where I'm sitting now in a cafe and the on the roadside um, and let's say a beautiful girl was sitting adjacent to where I am sitting now and I was sitting here with my wife and I glanced over what do you think the reaction would be here's my coffee come on keep up the cup uh, okay loha loha any thank you so here we are by the way I'm in a cafe called, I can't even, how do you pronounce it? Oh yeah, it's here. Okay, that's where we are. I'm not gonna try and pronounce it. It's on the main Rashid Afasik Road, just past Soy 17. Um, and it's very, very nice to do pastries and all kinds of stuff like that. But at this hour of the morning, you know, and this is um, just coming up to 10 o'clock on a Thursday morning. Um, there are no, let's say, well, I won't say there's no visual pleasures. Of course there are. I mean, there's trees and flowers and the clouds. And the, well, there's no clouds in the sky, but you know what I mean. But imagine what would happen if you were sitting here and you saw a girl and you were to glance. Kapum, thank you, thank you. And you were to glance in her direction. What would your wife do? I mean, seriously. And this is my question. Why would anybody... Well, no, sir, no, look, don't, don't misunderstand me. Don't misunderstand me. I'm ter lots of people do. Lots of people do bring an apple to an orchard. This is like drinking Guinness. You get the froth on your lip, but it doesn't taste half as good. I mean, this doesn't taste half as good. Um, I'm not saying why would anybody, because every lots of people do it. But I see... Westerners walking around the streets of Bangkok as tourists with their wives, you know, and I'm wondering, are they thinking what I'm thinking? Are they thinking, damn, I wish I wasn't with the spouse? But I'm not saying that you would do that, you know, I'm just saying that that's the way you would think. 
And there's no harm in thinking about it. Who was it? Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter, the former president of the United States. I don't know whether he wrote it or whether he was quoted, but he's definitely quoted as saying this recently, um, that he never cheated on his wife, but he committed adultery in his head thousands of times. We all do. It's human nature. And I, you know, I've never met a man who would, let's say, anyone I've ever met would not counter that argument. Um, that we all, we all imagine ourselves in a certain position with a certain young lady at a certain time of an evening. It's called fantasy. And that's a huge part of life. And it's a huge part of everybody's life sexual fantasy and you see the thing about it is that when you live in a place like Thailand especially here in Bangkok you've got ample opportunity to cultivate your fantasies um, but if you're with your spouse that cultivation could be curtailed to a huge extent so why put yourself through that torture well if you're going to go on holiday with your wife Go to Paris, go to Brussels. Not saying there's anything wrong with Paris or Brussels, and there's beautiful girls there too, but it would not be the focus of attention. You know, you have different things to do and see. There's different things to do and see here, of course there are, but all you've got to do is look at my other channel, The Big Picture El Panorama, where I interview beautiful girls in the street every night. And one thing you'll notice about that channel is there are no shortage, or I should say is no, there is no shortage of beautiful girls they are in abundance uh, walking on the street more so than most places I've ever been so with that in mind if I was put it this way I would not bring my wife out with me recording my videos at night time simple as that I mean why would you you put her through torture put me through torture you know so why would you bring your wife or girlfriend on a holiday to Thailand um, unless unless you're aware that you're going to be putting yourself to, to, through some form of mental anguish at the fact that you, it's like going into a candy shop. You know, a kid in a candy shop, you can look and you can see, but you cannot touch and you cannot consume in any way. How about that? That's my five cents worth. That's what I think. That's the way I think. I don't know if that's the way you think, but I'm thinking like a, like I think any man would think that we're all red. Well, 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 speaking for myself, speaking for most of you, as well, all of you, but most of us are red-blooded heterosexual men, and whether or not you're heterosexual or not makes nothing has nothing to do with it. We're all red-blooded men, and we seek we seek the fairer sex for companionship and more. You know what I mean, of course you do. So there you go, apples to an orchard. It doesn't compute, well it doesn't compute with me. And my, my piece of advice to you is, if you're coming to Thailand and you're bringing your wife, or I wouldn't say that's the wrong thing to say, if you're coming to Thailand and your wife and yourself are coming together, um, I, would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would suggest caution uh, in your expectation of what your your how you would derive your your pleasures when you're here so you'll be restricted to the pleasure of food the pleasure of the weather the pleasure of the politeness and friendliness of the people and lots more besides but you will be denying yourself the pleasures of the flesh so there you go guys this is from the horse's mouth this is what it is i'm just not i'm not quoting statistics as you know as it's obvious I'm just giving it as it is. What do you think? Should you bring your wife or girlfriend on holiday to Thailand when you come here? Um, or should you come alone and enjoy every aspect of this wonderful country? Let me know in the comment section. And as always, guys, it's great to have you. And if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, click the subscribe button, click the like button, click the share button. Do all those wonderful things and I'll bring you back another wonderful video very soon. Thanks for joining me.